This week, it's all about the IPO and safety. Uber announces its directed share program today. It's a program for qualifying drivers to be able to purchase common stock at the IPO price. Now, not everyone qualifies. You have to have at least 2,500 trips by April 7th and have one active trip since January 19th of this year. More information about this program is available by using the link below. The program just announced at the time of this recording. We will have more information for you guys in the next coming days. Big story today, three women who were sexually assaulted by fake Uber drivers are bringing suit against Uber for not offering a warning about this type of activity. I saw this in the forums yesterday and a lot of people are upset. And I think that's because they don't understand what the suit is about. So let me break that down really, really quick. These women are not suing Uber because they were sexually assaulted by fake Uber drivers. That's not why they're suing. They're suing because they said that law enforcement told Uber that there were instances where fake Uber drivers were assaulting women and or attempting to assault. And they also state that it was in a specific area uh, around a certain area where there are a lot of clubs and that sort of thing. So they said in terms of proximity, in terms of potential danger and threat that Uber should have let people know. In addition, they said that Uber markets to a particular demographic of people, namely young women who like to drink, and they tout that Uber is a safe alternative to driving home. Um, they say that they are not and that they hid the details that actually taking an Uber could be dangerous especially if you are intoxicated now i've never actually seen a ad that says hey drunk girl take uber but i do think that it is implied that uber is a safe alternative or the alternative at this point to driving home drunk and all that sort of thing and we know why that's a bad thing i do not agree with this and i actually talk about this on length on my channel so if you guys are curious about my viewpoint you guys can go there i believe that the accountability lies within the person that made the decision to not confirm the identity of the driver i will also go on to say that I do not believe that you are able to get as intoxicated as possible and to make decisions and to blame it on a third party. I don't know the specifics in every single case. It is a very sad thing. Sexual assault is not something that anyone deserves. And I stand with these women in uh, being vindicated. I don't think that the lawsuit is valid. And I'm hoping that these kinds of things will spark conversation on how women young women young men people in general will make better decisions when going out drinking and using rideshare services this week the house approved a bill requiring that rideshare drivers use illuminated signs when doing rideshare they state that the illuminated signs give riders the ability to start the verification process from a safer distance. As you already know, these signs do exist and people can buy them from any website, any third party vendor. However, Uber says that they don't think that these items should be required because it gives a rider a false sense of security when they see a car with an illuminated sign. I do believe that these signs are helpful, but they do not replace the activity of confirming the license plate, confirming the make and model, confirming the name of the driver before you get in the car. Makers are calling for rideshare companies to implement fingerprinting as another method to vet potential drivers. In an effort spearheaded by Representative Michael Morin, he said that they took a look at a group of Uber drivers that were already approved and found that there were over 30,000 people that had very serious things on their record. They said that the screening that Uber and Lyft does is not enough and that they could be potentially allowing people who have committed serious crimes to drive for the company. Personally, I use Rideshare a great deal for myself and I do not have a problem with offering a fingerprint. Uh, a fingerprint is very unique. You're the only one who has it and so if there's something that you've done, they're gonna be able to find out and if you are not fit to be around the public because some of you guys are not then you should not be driving i don't think we can talk about safety without trying to improve the process from within um 
I definitely think that fingerprints need to be added to it and, and whatever else that makes sure that everybody is safe. Lawmakers are calling for rideshare companies to implement fingerprinting as another method to vet potential drivers. In an effort spearheaded by Democratic Representative Michael Moore, he said that they took a look at a group of Uber drivers that were already approved and found that there were over 30,000 people that had very serious things on their record. They said that the screening that Uber and Lyft does is not enough and that they could be potentially allowing people who have committed serious crimes to drive for the company. I don't think there's anything wrong with fingerprinting. I feel like fingerprinting will ensure that the right types of people will be around the general public. There are a lot of people who just can't handle it. There's a lot of people who just don't know how to play by the rules. I think that fingerprinting is a step in the right direction and the kind of thing that would make me feel comfortable when my children, my family members, my loved ones are using rideshare. And with my final story of the day, many schools across the country are now banning Uber Eats and Postmates and Grubhub deliveries to high schools because officials say that it is disruptive and potentially dangerous. Now I have a smile on my face because it's hilarious. And being a parent, I could see myself literally having my son's lunch delivered to the office. I could totally see this. And I'm that parent that's gonna forget to go grocery shopping or too lazy and say, you know what, I'm gonna have Postmates you a burrito. Like that's the kind of parent I am. <laughs> Saying that these students are the ones that are doing it. They're like ordering food. Okay, wow, it must be like a wealthy high school. The administrators are saying that having all these things delivered was disrupting the school. I just thought that was super duper funny. Like these are, these are the problems that we're having at school, guys. My goodness. <laughs> it just brought a smile to my face. I hope that you enjoyed the stories that we shared this week. I know the issue of safety this week is a big concern for everyone. And I really do wish that that conversation was also centered around the safety of a driver. Uh, there are multiple instances where Uber and Lyft and other rideshare drivers have been terrorized, attacked, and even murdered for no good reason at all. And it seems as though sometimes the public doesn't really care about you, us. Drivers are important, and so I just don't want you guys to get discouraged. feel like while we talk about rider safety, we really need to talk about driver safety because in all honesty, you don't know who's getting in your car at all. At the very least, at least the rider can know that they're matching up with the right person, but you just have to take their word for it, and that's if they offer it at all. That being said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to Harry's channel, please do so. He has a wealth of information. There's a lot of great contributors on here working diligently for you guys. If you guys are curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily, and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can check me out on my YouTube channel or hit me directly on Facebook. We also love to hear your ideas. So if you have any news, tips, any funny stories, positive stories, I need more of those. Please send those to me directly and I will make sure that they are featured on one of these shows. I do it every week, so <laughs> we'll make a way for it. Appreciate you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.